Hi, my name is Dave Levy. I'm a town meeting member from Precinct 18, and I'm also a member of the Clean Energy Future Committee. I'm here to present to town meeting our report. The Clean Energy Future Committee, or CEFC, was created by the Select Board in 2018 and charged with guiding the town net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. The CEFC has 13 members drawn from a variety of backgrounds. This photo shows nine of our 13 members back when meeting in person was still possible. Our committee recently completed a net zero action plan to guide Arlington to achieving that 2050 goal. The plan was shared with you via email and is available on the CEFC's webpage. We're looking forward to working with you and everyone in town to implement the plan's 31 greenhouse gas reduction measures. One measure from the plan is actually up for consideration at this town meeting, Warrant Article 38, which has proposed a zoning amendment to allow the replacement of older home foundations with new super insulated foundations on non-conforming lots where doing so is currently not allowed. We wrote the net zero action plan with technical support from the Metropolitan Area Planning Council and grant funding from the State Executive Office of Energy and Environmental Affairs. As part of the project, we compiled an inventory of greenhouse gas emissions from all sources in Arlington for calendar year 2017, the latest for which complete data were available. The inventory created a baseline that we will use to measure future progress in reducing greenhouse gas emissions. The inventory revealed that 284,000 metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent were released into the atmosphere from Arlington in 2017. That's 6.2 metric tons per resident that year. And over the next 30 years, we need to get those emissions down to zero. Almost all greenhouse gas emissions in Arlington are attributable to two sources, buildings and transportation. In 2017, almost 62% of emissions came from buildings, mostly for heating and cooling, and almost 36% came from transportation, mostly the burning of gasoline to drive single occupant vehicles. The remaining 2.6% is mostly from solid waste disposal. The net zero action plan calls for 31 measures that fall within the following five strategies. One, make homes and other buildings super energy efficient. And again, Warrant Article 38 is one of those measures designed to help to do this. Two, electrify building and heating, excuse me, building heating and cooking to eliminate burning oil and natural gas on site. Three, give people better options than driving like bike and pedestrian paths and superb public transportation. Four, electrify transportation so that when people do drive, it's in zero emissions vehicles. And finally, green Arlington's electricity so that the all electric buildings and vehicles I just referred to are powered by solar, wind, hydro, and other renewable sources, both locally and from elsewhere in New England. We developed the net zero action plan with extensive input from town departments and boards and commissions, as well as a range of stakeholder groups and the general public. Support for town action to combat climate change is very strong in our town. And the measures our plan, the measures in our plan, excuse me, enjoy broad support. We look forward to working with all of you in the coming months and years to successfully implement Arlington's net zero action plan. And with that, thank you very much for your time.